hello beautiful souls i am awakened soul and we are going to be reviewing bitcoin we are going to be setting up for our next trade and looking at it see what it's doing it's been playing with this four hour range it did break a four hour trend line giving me a target of 23794 um if you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and give me a follow at AwakenSoul underscore 369 as I am updating as I take any kind of trade or if I see any major moves. This, oh, this is me. How beautiful. But check this out. 22 hours ago, I posted this play and sure enough, nine hours ago, it happened. So, yeah consider following me but anyhow um let's see what's happening let's start off with the fresh chart right now i hope you're having a beautiful day here and that's the beauty of trading with the flow right you want to be able to come in every day to the charts and just go with the flow open a new chart reassess because once the charts move it ends up making a new pattern we're gonna use my scalping charts here so i have bitcoin index okay we're going long all right let's go ahead and delete everything and start off fresh so you already know we're going to start off on our weekly time frame setting our support and resistance here turning on our pivot highs and lows right so my resistance is going to be the weekly previous candle my support is going to be the weekly previous candle weeklies are going to be orange we're going to try to coordinate our colors here and we're just focused on price action right just worry about price action now let's go in to the daily within the daily same thing you want to set support and resistance this is our support here dailies are going to be yellow i'm also going to consider the previous candle as this was our resistance sorry our support And this is our daily resistance here make sure it's yellow because by the time we're done you already know we have a techno party here so within the daily I'm also gonna turn on my pivot highs and lows I overlap two one is always set at 30 one is set at three six or nine I like to play around with them let's do six And this is just gonna guide me and show me where to place my daily trend lines right so we're gonna go from lower high up here to find our resistance to our more current lower high there you go all right just focus on price range we're gonna go from higher low to our next higher low so within this wedge here i'm gonna go ahead and give you some daily targets that could take up two weeks months to play out we have one touch two touch right you're getting the highest peak in between turn it yellow and our target is right where it intersects okay let's highlight it make sure we know this is our target if this daily trend line breaks right so if we break to the upside based on one touch oh my battery's dying hold on okay so based on our one touch two touches of the daily trend line we are going to be able to get a daily target remember it's going to be the lowest point here And right where it intersects that will be our daily target that could take weeks months to play out 
but at the same time that I'm doing this, I start from the weekly daily. I'm looking at the price action, right? I'm looking that we're in an uptrend here in the daily. Let's go to the four hours. Within the four hours, right off the bat, right? 12 and 26 are the EMAs that I use. And price action is below the 12 and 26 EMAs. It has not officially crossed, but we have broken a four hour trend line. One touch, two touches, green, right? And where's our target for that? This is the highest peak, right where it intersects. That would be my first four hour target. Right, it could definitely be a fake out. Uh, how do I confirm? I'll show you. This is the range. I would go to a smaller time frame. Right. Usually it's the 15, to be honest with you. And once I see candle closes under the trend line, that just gives me a sign that's going to roll over. I mean, it looks like it broke. It's retesting. Uh, you could definitely throw a trend line here right if you're already in a short so if it breaks up crosses this trend line you know maybe you could consider a long because again we're still within a range but the trend is down right i trade with the trend so back to the four hours sorry i get lost sometimes so we're in the four hour we have our bearish target here if we cross that bearish target, we'll consider this one touch, two touches, trend line here. Because if we cross here, or we could consider this one and this higher low, right? And then we'll have a vertical line from this high, right? And right where it intersects. We can put a, a, a target here. There'll be 22438. But if, fall, if it falls, it would also be crossing this daily trend line. So something to consider. Um, what I'm trying to figure out why do I have this yellow line there? And this is why it's important to keep up with the colors of your turn lines. Because, was it the range? It looks like it's the, oh yeah, it's the support and resistance of the daily. Okay, so four hours. How do I find the range of the four hours? Just focusing on price action, right? Look at your pivot highs and lows so it shows us that this is our next low here so that'll be our next support that's green All right this was a target my support again will be the same as the daily and the weekly that'll be my support Okay, it is green. So the trend is down in the four hour. Let's go to the one hour. Within the one hour, trend is down. Right, RSI is probably super, no, it's not even super oversold. We still have some space in the one hour. So like I was mentioning in regards to the one hour, right, this would be the trend line. So let's change colors. Let's change blue for one hour. So with, and again, we're just focused on price action. See how we start from the weekly and we just come in here. So this is my next. Hourly play. 
Okay, it's gonna do something here, squeezing to do something. Like I said, we definitely rotate to the upside, and we have to consider that, right? Um, just because it's in the downtrend doesn't mean it's gonna keep going down in the end of the day. Looking at the four hours, right? Those are our next major, major supports 23,857 and 23,354. So, till we cross this support. Then we're going to head down to this support. And of course, if we cross 23.35, we're coming all the way down to 22.438. Level by level. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at right now. So, of course, if we swing up to the upside, let me give you a target. Just because. So we have one touch, two touches. This is our lowest peak. Right, so my target for the one hour, if we swing back up, would be right here at 24,618. Okay, and of course, if we swing down, breaking this one hour support, what's the highest peak here? This is our highest peak. So we're going to put a vertical line here. Okay, and right where it intersects, and that vertical line should be blue, so we can know. Okay, and our intersection would be the same as the four hour. Let's go ahead and mark it also, so we can know. Double confluence, right? Double confluence there. All right, so this is our next hour play, guys. Uh, may the force be with you. Set your alarms. And yeah, go from there. And again, follow me on Twitter as I update everything. But I do want to share my views. Now that the charts have shown you what's happening next, let me share my views. I think we're in an upside down Wyckoff pattern. Wyckoff patterns. Let me draw them for you. So we have up, inverted H. We came down as a ripsaw. We came down, up, I'm sorry, right, and now we're coming down. Right, I think this is the top for this section, and we're coming down. Um, but those are just my thoughts, and we can't chart with our own thoughts or emotions. We have to do what the charts tell us to do. So may the force be with you. Um, remember, we could have a nice retrace too here. Pull a fib from this top to this bottom, right? Anything is possible. Set your alarms. The four hour trend lines are more stronger than one hour trend lines. So for me, this four, breaking this four hour trend line right now is critical and it seems like it's holding right now as it's retesting and it's going to come back down i see that more as a more potential than breaking this one hour trend line right so something to consider but may the force be with you and remember to do everything with love guys